Today we're going to build this custom wall plate for an SO239 connector and an equipment ground with a 3 8 threaded brass rod and associated brass hardware. For the wall plate itself, I highly recommend using a wall plate that's made out of nylon. I tried a different type of wall plate that just cracked when you tried to drill through it, so we're going to try this today to see if we can get a good result here. I'm going to start off by cutting about two and a half inches of this brass threaded rod. I'm going to cut this outside because sometimes they put lead inside of brass and I don't really want to have lead dust in my shop. Now that I have my cut piece of rod, I'm going to chuck this into my drill and kind of run it over a piece of sandpaper to take away that sharp edge. Okay, we've cut our piece of brass rod, and now we're ready to get started on the wall plate. The first thing I'm gonna do is start with this low voltage box, and I'm gonna put it on the back of the wall plate so that I can get an idea of where my holes should be. And I'll take a pencil here. I'm just gonna trace the inside. So I have an idea of our working area here. I think I'll just take a straight edge and I'll put it on the screw holes here and I'll draw a line in between them just to get a rough center line going and then I'm gonna have my SO239 connector at the top here and then I'll have my equipment ground probably right about here So to cut the SO239 hole, I'm going to try using one of these stepped drill bits. And something that I like to do sometimes is if I know there's a certain diameter I'm trying to hit, in this case it's 5 eighths for the connector, I'll take a piece of tape and I'll put that right above where that spot is so that I know not to go any further than that. And if you guys know of any better tricks, please let me know in the comments. I always love to learn something new. I'm also going to take a nail set and put a little mark right here to keep the drill bit from walking around. So let's see if we can drill this thing. Hopefully it doesn't crack. All right, I'm going to put this on top of the uh, center of an old tape roll here. I'm going to start off by drilling a small pilot hole. I'm going to flip this over and drill through the front with my stepped bit. Not bad. Let's see how it fits. Awesome. Now for the equipment ground, I'll do the same thing. Now using my stepped bit with my tape adjusted to 3 eighths, I'll drill through the front here. Now I'll take my SO239 connector, put it through there. Can snug that up with a wrench in a bit. Take my equipment ground, and then I'll put a washer on this side. And a nut. Another washer on the back with a nut. Try and get them roughly even here. Now I'll snug the connections down. So then I can take my four gauge wire that'll be through this connector here. Put this on the back with another nut. Tighten that one down, that'll be a permanent connection. And then on the other side, I'll have another four gauge wire that goes to the equipment ground on my equipment. Put that on there, with the wing nut, so in case I wanna remove that easily. And it'll be just like that on the wall. Not bad, huh? All right, well, thanks for watching.